If you were making a movie about Satan roaming the earth, murdering people in a car, you couldn't pick a better vehicle than the Audi Q7. I mean, just look at it. It's the scariest SUV I've ever seen. is actually the baby version of the Q7 range, the 3 litre TDI, and it's a beautifully equipped vehicle. It's got seven seats, which is really great, but where the hell do you put this? There's no room for it in the boot, and you certainly can't put it in the passengers. It may only be a three litre TDI, but it costs you over a hundred pounds to fill up, and it may not even get you as far as you think. The multimedia system has an excellent screen and a built-in TV, which is great until you start moving. Then the TV turns itself off, which is not so good for your passengers. Now this is one of the slowest traffic jams you're ever going to get in the Welsh Valleys. Normally we don't have any cars, but we do have sheep. It's a 4x4. Four four. It can talk the talk, but can it walk the walk? Let's go mud plugging and find out. Very musical, this car. Going to peel through mud and it's having no problems whatsoever. Highly impressed with it.
thing is as scary as hell. It appears in your rear view mirror and it makes you jump a mile. You may as well have had an Apache gunship pop up over a hedge. It's a beautiful car to drive too, although it's incredibly heavy and pretty expensive with all the toys. And that TV turning itself off is a pity though, isn't it? I mean, you pay all that extra cash and your passengers still can't watch the screen while you're on the move. So there you have it, the Audi Q Satan. Overpriced but beautifully crafted car with styling to die for. And a must for every property developer, architect and Satanist.